Hey, how's it going? This is Nico with San Jose Piano Lessons. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to memorize all the basic chords on the piano. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. And if you're interested in more content, you can check out my website, sanjosepianolessons.net, where you can also sign up for private classes with me. So without further ado, let's get started. So what is a chord? A chord is simply when you play three or more notes together like this. And there's many different types of chords. Some of them have more than three notes like this. Some of them sound happy like this. Some of them sound angry like this. So chords can give lots of different types of emotions. But at the most basic level, a chord is just three notes. And normally we play them in a skipping fashion. That means you start with any note, like for example, C, and then you skip a white key and go to the next white key, that's E, and then you skip another white key and go to G. So here is our first chord. You use your thumb on C, middle finger on E, and your pinky on G. And if you press all three at the same time, this is called a C major chord. Now, you can make a major chord on any note of the piano. For example, this is a G major chord. Um, but some of them have different patterns of white and black notes. For example, D major has a black note in the middle. And now this is where it can get a little bit complicated. But to start, I just want you to memorize the color patterns of these groups of major chords. So to start out are just the white notes. So first of all, C major we just went over is all white notes. Now if you pick up this same shape in your hand with one, three, and five and move up to F, so your thumb should go to F and play the same fingers, this is called F major. Just like C, it's three white notes, F, A, C. And the last one that's all white notes is called G major. It's G, B, and D. So you just go one step up from where you were before on F and play G, B, D all together. Now notice, you don't need to let these fingers go up too much when you play the chord. It's a natural uh, instinct to kind of like lift these fingers really high. If you can just make one, three, and five a little bit stiff, but try to keep the round finger shape. You don't wanna, you don't wanna play it with flat fingers like this. You wanna keep your fingers round at all times. So the next group of chords has white notes on the outside and black notes in the middle. These are D major, so the notes are D, F sharp with your middle finger, and A. E major, which is E, G sharp, and B. And A major, which is A, C sharp, and E. One more time, D major has a black note in the middle. E, ma e major has a black note in the middle. And A major has a black note in the middle. The next group of chords is black, white, black. So they, they have black notes on the outside and a white note in the middle. And they're gonna kind of reflect the last group, but they're gonna start on flat. So the first one is called D flat major. This is D flat here, just to the left of D. The middle note is F, a white key, and the top note is a black key, A flat. So I like to call these the Oreo chords or the Oreo group because it's black on the outside and white in the middle. This is called D flat major, D flat, F, A flat. The next one is E flat major, E flat, G, and B flat. And the last one is A flat major, A flat, C, and E flat all together. One more time, D flat major, E flat major, and A flat major. So let's review our groups so far. All white keys are C, F, and G major. 
White on the outside, black in the middle. White, black, white would be D major, E major, and A major. Black, white, black would be D flat major, E flat major, and A flat major. So the next groups are just unique color patterns. So you just have to memorize, for example, that G flat major is three black keys. This one is the only major chord that's three black keys. So you have to memorize it's G flat, B flat, and D flat. The next one is B major, which is white, black, black. It's gonna be B, D sharp, and F sharp. Same finger numbers. Again, it's the only major chord that has this color pattern, so please memorize that B major is like this. And the last one is called B flat major. If you start on B major and slide every finger down to the key below it, this is called B flat major. It's black, white, white, and this is the only chord that's black, white, white. B flat major, which is B flat, D and F. To turn any major chord into a minor chord, all you have to do is lower the middle note, which we call the third. So if C is number one, wherever we start is gonna be number one. So if we're choosing C major, this is one, and we count up from there, one key at a time, two, three. So E is called the third, four, five, and G is called the fifth. So we have one, three, five, just like the fingers we're using here. So to make a minor chord, all you have to do is lower the third, the middle note, by one key. So move it to the left, one key. This is called C minor. Same thing for D. D major has a black key in the middle. You lower the third, the black key goes down to a white key this time. This is called D minor. What about one of the other chords, like E flat major is black, white, black. To make E flat minor, again, you lower the third. The middle note goes down to a black note. So that's a really fast way to go from a major chord to a minor chord. Just lower the third, lower the middle note, down a key. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. And again, you can see all my content at SanJosePianoLessons.net. And please like and subscribe. Thanks and peace out.